What's up, y'all? My name is Hollywood Sunny, aka Leo, whatever you know me as. My last video was about the 48 Laws of Power and how I implemented them into my life, but I only needed 13 because not every 48 law is for every person. So I ended up with 13 after I read the book and let them speak to me the way that they spoke to me. So, last video, <coughs> excuse me, the last video I did, my first one, which never put too much trust in friends. You know what I mean? In other words, you know what I mean? Trust yourself more than you trust anybody else. I never expect anything unexpected from anyone. Anywho, the next law that I chose is law number five, which to me is my second law. And it's so much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. It's the, it's the reputation law. I'm going to read the judgment, but before I do, like, what does reputation mean to me? To me, is how people see you before they meet you. Think about that. Let's say you meet somebody and you have some type of impression on them. When they leave and they're around other people, for whatever reason, you might come up and this person's gonna be able to tell them about you. So it's him that's making them see you how he sees you. Thus they see you before they meet you. It's a lot, but I'm also high. I'm going to read the judgment on this. Reputation is the cornerstone of power. Through reputation alone, you can intimidate and win. Once it slips, however, you are vulnerable and will be attacked on all sides. Make your reputation unassailable. Always be alert to potential attacks and thwart them before they happen. Meanwhile, Learn how to destroy your enemies by opening holes in their own reputations, then stand aside and let public opinion hang them. Now, I'm not really a big fan of the last part of that. That's too much energy to put into somebody else. If a nigga got holes in their reputation, anybody worth seeing them is going to see him. That's a fact. So I'm not going to poke holes in anybody's reputation. It's not my place. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I just make sure that I'm the best version of me possible. Anytime I meet somebody, that they're not meeting some asshole, they're not meeting, you know, a jerk, they're not meeting some grumpy person, they're meeting somebody that's positive, that has a positive energy, that's smiling, that wants them to smile. You know what I mean? That wants everybody to just be in the best place that they can be mentally, emotionally. And that person is going to tell all their friends about that. So that's who, that's how I try to keep my reputation what it is. I don't need to hang nobody. I don't need to do any of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So one of the quotes, and this is pretty dope. dope this is pretty dope. <laughs> Nietzsche, a very, very famous philosopher, man. Way back, way back. One of the most famous. Nietzsche says it's easier to cope with a bad conscience than with a bad reputation. You feel me? Like, yo, these philosophers back in the day put a lot of energy into, like, talking about how important reputation is, man. A solid reputation, here's a quote increases your presence and exaggerates your strengths without you having to spend much energy. It can also create an aura around you that will instill respect, even fear, 
Like I said, when a motherfucker leave you and they start talking about you to other people, how do you want them to speak about you? You feel me? So you make sure that anytime anybody's around you, especially if they ain't, ain't a permanent in your life, right? If they're just somebody that you meet, make sure that they meet the best version of you so when they tell other people about you, that's all they know. You feel me? That's just how I look at it, you know? Now, like I said, there's usually three more things. You got the image, the metaphor, the authority, which is the quote, and then the reversal. But again, this is the this is one of the laws. There's no reversal to it. So I don't even have to read that. Because imagine a mine full of diamonds and rubies you dug for and you found it. And your wealth is now assured. Guard it with your life. Robbers and thieves will appear from all sides. Never take your wealth for granted and constantly renew it. Time will diminish the jewel's luster and bury them from sight. The metaphor is if you figure out who you are, you only want people to see the best version of that. You know what I mean? You find this thing that makes you you. Okay? You got to hold on to that. And make sure that there's nobody out there that can hurt that or tarnish that because it's too instilled in you. That's how I look at that. You know what I mean? Chance. Took me out of my element. Uh. So the authority is a quote by another guy named Baldazar, but it's not the same one from the last one. So the quote is, Therefore, I should wish our courtier to bolster up his inherent worth with skill and cunning and ensure that wherever he has to go where he is a stranger, he is preceded by a good reputation for the fame which appears to rest on the opinions of many fosters a certain unshakable belief in a man's worth, which is then easily strengthened in minds already thus disposed and prepared. That's exactly what I just said, man. Make sure that when a motherfucker leaves you and goes to talk about you, you just talk about the best shit. That's your rap, man. You feel me? There's no possible reversal. Reputation is critical. There are no exceptions to this law. Boom. That's the reversal. You feel me? And it's a quick law, too, because it's very simple. You want to make sure that your reputation is like... Something that, that you, you could be super proud of, bro. Like, I want people to only think positive thoughts about me. That don't mean I crave people's opinions. Nah. But when a motherfucker meets me, I want them to meet the best me. And I want them to want to continue to meet me because I feel like I'm a type of motherfucker that everybody should have around. That's just how I feel. You know what I mean? If I wasn't me, I'd want to hang out with me. <laughs> but that's because of how, like, I found who I am. It's so sad. You know what I mean? I think you got it within you two to be the same exact way. I'm being real. This could help, for real. You know what I'm saying? So that's my second law. Keep your reputation up. Alright? Stay positive. Stay peaceful, man. Stay happy. Don't die by another's misery. Which is my third law. Which is the next one. So please, come back and see me again. Hollywood Sunny. Leo. You know.